Hey there Xamarin developers. Uh, today I want to show you how to get past a very common error that we see a lot of our users encountering. And this error is basically when you're trying to update or install NuGet packages in your Xamarin Android project and you're getting some errors about mismatched versions or version conflicts and you know things don't quite go as you had hoped. So this usually happens when you're dealing with Xamarin Android projects and you've got um, support libraries involved and you've got other NuGet packages that reference Android support libraries and depend on them involved and then we kind of hit this this problem area. So first of all let's walk through the problem. I've got a new Xamarin Android app uh, open here and it's got Xamarin Forms installed and if we look at Xamarin Forms we can see it depends on a bunch of these Android support libraries and this is really common. You can't really build an app these days on Android without support libraries. They're kind of critical. And you can see that it depends on you know, a bunch of these different libraries and they're all greater than or equal to 25 dot whatever. Now, what you don't see here is there's another layer of dependencies in a lot of these or sometimes multiple layers of dependencies where um, you know, support design technically depends on some of the things that support v4 depends on, which is like support compat, support comport, uh, core utils, and there's a number of others and they all kind of walk down the tree and eventually depend on support annotations. So there's a really complex dependency chain here going on. And you can see that they're all the same version that it depends on. And this is because you can't mix and match versions of NuGet packages within the support libraries. Google doesn't allow this. This is just something that we have to live with and, and try and work around. But you couldn't, for example, have design 25 and have uh, card view 27. It just wouldn't work. Something would fail at runtime on you. So what often happens here is you've got a project like this and you've got Xamarin Forms installed. And now when you come to, to go over and install, say like our new Xamarin Essentials, which I definitely recommend checking out. If we look at the uh, dependency chain here, you can see that Xamarin Essentials also depends on some support libraries and some different ones actually. And so it depends on support core utils uh, 27 dot whatever and custom tabs again, is gonna be 27 dot whatever as well because they all have to match versions. Again, what you don't see here is there's a, more layers of these dependencies. And if we if we started looking at the whole dependency tree, we would see that core utils actually depends on, um, I believe it's support annotations. And again, we, it depends on the exact version of the given package because you can't mix and match these. So that's where a lot of the problems come from. And if we try and install this package, we're met with this error, and this is probably what you've seen and, and maybe why you ended up in this video. And it's kind of daunting, especially if you're not really sure what's going on. But if we just take a minute to kind of look at the error, we, we'll see pretty quickly that it, it does tell us the information that we need to resolve it. Um, you know, I agree, it's not the most pleasant experience, and this is definitely something that we're working to try and make better. But we can look at the information here and we can fix this. So let's start doing that. So first of all, we see, well, our app depends on Xamarin Essentials, which depends on custom tabs, 27 dot whatever. And when it doesn't say, you know, anything but just the version here, you can kind of assume it's greater than or equal to 27 dot whatever. Whereas custom tabs 27 dot whatever depends on exactly equal to 27 dot 0 dot 2. It's you know, the same version of 27 dot whatever that we had up here. And then you can see, well, Xamarin Forms depends on support v4 25 dot whatever. And that one depends on exactly equal to support.compat25. whatever. You know, these two versions being exactly uh, equal, needing to be equal. So what's happening is the new way of, of using package references, they decided to, to sort of make a compromise and, and to make things go really quickly in most package restore situations, they're not looking at this dependency tree with several passes and they're not able to figure out some of these more complex dependency hierarchies anymore without a little bit of help. And that's what we're seeing here. So to, to our, you know, to my eye, it's, it's kind of quick to see like, well, forms only cares about 25 dot whatever or greater. And V4 needs to make sure that that compat is the same version, whatever it references. And then essentials depends on 27 dot whatever or greater. So it's pretty easy, you know, to see for us that essentials depends on 27 and that's the higher version. So that's probably the version that we need to pick, right? And we can kind of group and all of the Android support library NuGet packages into like you know one big group for the sake of determining versions. All you need to really know is that no matter what, all of your Android support packages must be the same version within your project. That's just the golden rule. That's how we have to live right now with, with Google. And so I can see here that 
if I just bump up, you know, the support compat libraries to 27, Essentials will be, ha be happy and Form should be happy too because it doesn't care as long as it's greater than or equal to 25. So what we start doing to resolve this, um, if we want to do this in, you know, still in the Visual Studio IDE, if you're comfortable here, we can do it here. It's a little bit slower of a process, but we can still accomplish it. First of all, we just look at the, the packages at the end of this chain here, and we can see, okay, we've got support.compat, and we need to get support.compat 27 or, or greater. So we can just go install this package manually right now. So let's go find it. So here's our support.compat. I'm gonna just pick the version that Xamarin Essentials wanted just to, to keep things easy. We could upgrade these later to the next version yet too. So if I go install this one, oh, oh no, we have another error. And you're gonna hit this probably a couple times depending on your situation. This time it's a bit different though because we're walking down that dependency chain until we get to the bottom of it. And in this case, we can see, well, support compat 27 needs support annotations 27 and you know forms needs card view 25 which needs annotations 25 and again forms is happy as long as it's all of the packages are greater than or equal to 25 and essentials is only happy as long as our our packages are greater than or equal to 27 and so all we need to do is keep walking down that chain and let's look for annotations now and again as long as we install this you know the version that we need here we can start to to kind of clean things up and so we can see here this is going to work i mean it, we're not failing the resolution now we're getting a little bit farther so now we've got xamarin android support annotations 2702 installed you know we could go back and um we could try uh, installing essentials again but we already know we're going to hit that support compat library one next right because that's the first one we hit so if it, i just go install this one And again, I can hit OK, I can accept. There we go, now I've got these two packages installed. Now, you know, we go back again and see like, can I finally install Xamarin Essentials? So we try that. Oh, we still have a package resolution error. And now it's this uh, core, core utils. Maybe that was the first one. Maybe I, I typed the wrong thing by doing um, compat. It won't hurt anyway to specify it explicitly. And we'll see that in just a second. So let's go install this one. And then finally, I believe this time around, we should be able to install Xamarin Essentials. Yep, and there we go. So now we've got Xamarin Essentials installed, we've got Xamarin Forms installed, and our application is happy, our NuGet package story is happy. Now, one easier way to do this than going through the, the package manager UI is to actually go edit your CS project file directly. So if I take a look at this one here, you can see the different files that I've got, the different um, package references I've got installed in my CS project. Now, if you're not comfortable with CS project, really it's not that bad. You just kind of need to look for your item group that contains all of your package references. So a really quick way to do this, you know, if, if we had, if we were trying to install Xamarin uh, Essentials, this is what our CS project would have looked like before we, we started down the path of explicitly adding things with just Xamarin Forms installed. So you could come manually add these in here and, and you know give the exact version for the different dependencies that you need to install. And you can just do it through the, the code editor right here. So if I want to bump this up to 27.0.2.1, I could just come in here and edit these all. And then we should be able to go in here and um, discard the unsaved changes. We'll reload that story, and now I think we should be able to see that our installed packages, if we clear out that filter, should all show 27.0.2.1, and it's happy, and you know we're, we're good to go. So you know this is how you work around this error. Um, like I said, we're trying to make this better, trying to make the story better. I, I think that with Android X, this story will improve a little bit. Um, in the meantime, you know, please be patient and just start looking at the error messages and, and use this fix and, and kind of do things uh, the methodical way. Um, it's it's almost zen-like, so just enjoy. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps, and I hope that we can make this problem go away completely in the not-too-distant future.